Joining us now for more, former RNC chair, White House chief of staff to President Trump and an ABC News contributor, Reince Priebus. Uh, Reince, thanks so much for joining us. Of course, it's only been the first day of Trump's trial, half day really, but anything that you can glean based on that amount of time about how this will impact him politically? Well, I mean, look, it depends on whether or not you're of the belief that 24-7 of Donald Trump helps Donald Trump or hurts Donald Trump. I happen to believe that if you look at the polling today, where it has been 24-7 Donald Trump, and the media has been all over these trials, it's been a nonstop issue. If you look at every one of these battleground states, he's not losing in a single state. So, you know, look, I, I think that um, so far that has, you know, these things have not hurt the president at all. And someone could make the argument that it's actually been helpful. And we can be in this trial for maybe six weeks with a former president in court every day with a crush of cameras following his every move. Do you expect him to, to flip this criminal trial to his benefit? Well, you know, so far, I think the president's slowly but surely making himself out to, to be a victim. I mean, you saw that with not being able to go to this Baron Trump graduation. You saw the, the uh, statements that he's made recently and even today that he can't go to the Supreme Court. He was complaining that the, the, the temperature in the courtroom was, was very cold. So I think you know, I mean, if it goes on and on and on, you might see him looking more like a victim and it may even help him further. But, you know, the one thing that a lot of folks aren't talking about, Lindsay, is that it, what if he gets acquitted? Uh, you know, I don't see a lot of people out there talking about the possibility of an acquittal. It only takes one juror um, and you never know where this thing's going to go. Uh, the prosecution has to prove this novel theory of the attorney general. I think even people who don't like Donald Trump would agree that it's a it's a novel theory. It's something that we haven't seen before. If he gets acquitted, there's no doubt it's going to supercharge him uh, in this campaign. And it could very well uh, serve as rocket fuel to uh, the election. So I think that's something that everyone needs to think about. And today's prosecution's opening statement referenced the RNC when you were chairman, reminding the jury about the release of that now infamous Access Hollywood tape. Uh, what then candidate Donald Trump said and the controversy around that shortly before the 2016 election. Uh, the prosecution says that the RNC, while you were chair, was so concerned about it that they entertained replacing Trump ahead of the election. Is that true? Well, there were people that talked about it, but since I was general counsel of the RNC before I was RNC chair, I knew the rules inside and out, and there was no process to replace President Trump at that time, and so the process didn't exist. There were senators and people that talked about it, but it didn't rise to any level, and nothing was ever nothing ever came of it at all because it wasn't even possible in the rules. Wasn't possible, but anything you ever talked about in any way, one way or another, with Trump at the time? No, because I knew the rules. So <laughs> I, I knew that, the, you know, the only way you could replace someone on the ballot is if they died. Or I don't even know if they even volunteered whether that was a, a sufficient enough reason. So there wasn't any way to do it. My question is, though, considering that there were those who are bringing it up, is it something you would have said, hey, you know, this isn't a possibility, but there are people, just so you know, who are trying to get you out? Um, well, I think people were making a lot of public statements that you can find online uh, after the Access Hollywood tape came out. But everyone has to understand something. In mid-October, you know, a third of the country already voted, absentee ballot voting. I mean, the ballots are printed. The ballots are at the municipal clerk's office. And, and, and not to mention there was no replacement process. So all of that was, I think, for some people, wishful thinking. Do you think the former president could have handled the release of the video in a better way? Uh, I think he handled it pretty well. I mean, he he, he did a video the night of the Access Hollywood. He apologized, and then he took it on head on 
at that second debate uh, pretty quickly in the debate. So, look, I mean, he won the election in spite of a lot of these challenges. And so obviously he read the room uh, better than most, I think maybe better than anybody. Reince Priebus, appreciate your insight. Thank you so much for making the time. You bet. Thank you.